Hi, I'm Arun, Application Engineer at Maxim Integrated. In this video, I'm going to discuss on how to use a level translator to interface ICs with different logic levels. We shall also see why a level translator is required, what are noise margin levels, and other important parameters of a level translator. Level translators are used to interface two ICs that belong to different logic families, that is, ICs operating at different voltages. For example, let us take a case where a microcontroller MAX32630 is operating at 1.8V has to be interfaced with a DAC MAX5050 whose operating voltage is at 3.3V. These two ICs are not compatible to communicate with each other due to different threshold levels for logic 1s and logic 0s. Hence, it is required to use a level translator to interface them. A level translator generates compatible threshold levels for devices that are connected to it. Following are the important parameters that should be considered while selecting a level translator. Logic levels that are interfaced, that is threshold voltage, noise margin considerations, data transfer rate, number of channels, dry current, direction of data transfer, output pin type. Let us assume we are interfacing microcontroller MAX32630 operating at 1.8V with DAC MAX2050 operating at 3.3V. The threshold voltage of both ICs are given in the table. For transmitter, VOL is the maximum voltage for logic low state and VOH is the minimum voltage level for a logic high state. For the receiver, any input voltage less than VIL is guaranteed to be recognized as a logic low state and any input voltage greater than VIH is guaranteed to be recognized as a logic high state. Typically, these threshold voltages are rated as specific source and sink currents. Ideally, VOL should be much lower than VIL for proper logic load detection and VOH should be much higher than VIH for proper logic high detection. Below conditions must be satisfied to interface two devices with different logic levels. VOH of the transmitter must be greater than VIH of the receiver. VOL of the transmitter must be lower than VIL of the receiver. Noise margin and MH is the difference between VOH and VIH. Noise margin and ML is the difference between VIL and VOL. NML and NMH value should be positive to guarantee that the receiver will interpret logic levels produced by the transmitter correctly. Now let us take an example. Threshold levels of both MAX32630 microcontroller with MAX2550 DAC are shown in the graph. Calculating the noise margins, NML is equal to 0.4 volt and NMH is equal to minus 0.91 volt. Since NMH is negative, these two ICs cannot be interfaced directly. We must use a level translator to interface them. The level translator should be selected in such a way that it matches the noise margin level to the components it is connected at its input and output ports. For this case, I have chosen Maxim's MAX3001E level translator for interfacing MAX3260 microcontroller with MAX5050 DAC. As shown, microcontroller is interfaced to the input port of the level translator. By calculating the noise margins, you can see both noise margins and ML and NMH levels are positive. Hence, microcontroller's output port and level translator's input port can be interfaced without any issue. Similarly, DAC is interfaced to the output port of the level translator. As you see, both noise margin and ML and NMH levels are positive. Therefore, level translator and DAC can be interfaced without any issue. Now we have seen that how to check noise margin of two different ICs. In following slides, let us see what are the other parameters that may be considered when selecting a level translator. The output pin type can be either push-pull or open drain. For a push-pull pin, when PMOS turns on and NMOS turns off, the output goes high, which is called the push phase. The current flows from VDD to output pin through PMOS. Output pin goes low when NMOS turns on and PMOS turns off. This phase is called pull phase. During pull phase, current flows from output pin to ground. High switching speed is achieved with the push-pull output, since the switches are internal. For open ring pin, output goes low when NMOS turns on and output is in high imbalance when NMOS turns off. Hence, it requires an external pull-up resistor for high state. 
the limitation of using open drain output pin is the need for external pull up resistor and hence the slow rise time. Open drain outputs are useful when multiple output pins are connected on the same line, such as I2C bus. Data rate of level translator should meet the required speed of interfacing ICs. Max 3001E level translator operates at data rate up to 4 megabits per second. Depending on application and protocol used, we must choose the level translator with the appropriate number of channels. Output drive current is an important parameter to drive the load capacitance and meet required rise time and fall time. The increase in load capacitance increases the rise time, fall time and propagation delay, which in turn reduces the effective data rate. To avoid excessive capacitance loading, it is recommended to use short trace lengths and low capacitance connections in the design. Another important parameter is the channel to channel skew, which is difference in propagation delays between channel outputs. Spybus for example, if the channel to channel skew is large and spike clock rate is fast, the MOSI and clock signals may be misaligned on the slave side. If the propagation delay is large, the MISO data line and clock signals may be misaligned on the master side. Direction of data transfer the direction of data transfer can be either unidirectional or bidirectional. While selecting a level translator, care should be taken to select the proper data direction. Mass 3001E is a bidirectional level translator. If an application requires level translator with galvanic isolation between input and output, including isolation to grounds, digital isolators are used. Isolation is means of preventing conduction between two parts of a system while still allowing signal transfer between those two parts. Isolation protects circuits from high common mode transients, faults, and eliminates ground loops. The digital isolator MAX14934 can withstand isolation voltage up to 5 kV RMS for 60 seconds and maximum transient isolation voltage of 8400 V peak. It can continuously withstand 848 V RMS and repetitive peak voltage of 1200 V. Max 14934 operates at a maximum speed of 150 megabits per second. In this video, we went through the basics of level translator. For more information, stay tuned to maximumintegrator.com. Thank you.